This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete Haynes online manual at haynes.com. Open the passenger's door and pull the bonnet release handle. Pull out the safety catch and lift the bonnet. Unclip the support prop and engage it with the underside of the bonnet. The engine oil filler cap and level dipstick are often brightly coloured for easy identification. Fully apply the handbrake and place chocks each side of the rear wheel. Locate the jack head below the reinforced section of the chassis and raise the vehicle until the wheel is clear of the ground. Support the vehicle with an axle stand under the reinforced section of the door sill flange. The reinforced section is indicated by an indentation in the flange. Rotate the filler cap anti-clockwise and remove it. Working underneath the vehicle, slacken the engine sump drain plug half a turn. Position a suitable container beneath the sump. Fully unscrew the drain plug and allow the oil to drain into the container. Clean the drain plug and examine the condition of the O-ring seal. Renew the seal if it shows any sign of damage or deterioration. Refit the drain plug, then tighten it to the specified torque. Reposition the container under the oil filter location at the front of the engine. Use a filter removal tool to slacken the filter initially, then unscrew it by hand. Be prepared for oil spillage. Mop up any spilled oil and check to see if the filter rubber sealing ring has stuck to the engine mating face. If it has, remove it. Lubricate the sealing ring on the new filter element with clean engine oil. Then screw the filter into place by hand only. Do not use any tools. Remove the container from beneath the vehicle. Remove the axle stand and lower the vehicle to the ground. Using a funnel to minimise spillage, add the correct grade of engine oil. Add the oil a little at a time, checking the level on the dipstick frequently. Bring the level up to the lower mark on the dipstick. Then add a further 1 litre of oil to bring the level to the upper mark on the dipstick. With the level correct, securely refit the filler cap and fully reinsert the dipstick. Start the engine and run it at idle speed for a few minutes checking for any signs of leaks around the filter and drain plug. Note there may be a delay of a few seconds before the oil pressure warning light extinguishes as the oil circulates and the pressure builds up. Stop the engine, wait a few minutes for the oil to settle, then recheck the oil level and top up if necessary. Disengage the support prop and clip it into place. Firmly close the bonnet and check it's secure.